Hello and welcome to this episode of What's Up With with Brian Short. This episode, What's Up With the Fantastic Four. Fantastic Four is Marvel's first family. In my opinion, it's the birth of the Marvel Universe as we know it. Marvel's first family. It was four people that were shot into space and irradiated by cosmic radiation and gained powers. They consist of Reed Richards, Mr. Fantastic. He's able to stretch his body into different shapes. If you're familiar with Plastic Man at all, he's kind of almost like that, but super smart. Sue Storm Richards, who went on to marry Reed and is Johnny's sister. She's the invisible woman. She can turn invisible and she projects invisible force fields that she's able to use in different ways, defensively and offensively. And Johnny Storm, Sue's brother. He can turn into flame, human flame, the human torch. And Ben Grimm, the thing. He, he's made of stone. He's super strong, but he's stuck in that form. And it messes with his mind at times because he feels like he's a monster, but he has a heart of gold. What made the Fantastic Four different than other superheroes at that time, in particular super teams, is they had problems. A lot of the superheroes before that didn't really have personal problems to speak of. Um, they bickered and they fought and they had to come up with money at times and such. Ben and Johnny in particular would just pick on each other all the time, kind of like brothers would. But they always had each other's back. Issues 1 to 102 were created by Stanley and Jack Kirby. It's one of the longest and most influential runs ever that many creators still strive to match or beat. Their run gave birth to, oh my goodness, countless concepts for comics, Marvel comics in particular. Um, they gave birth to several heroes. The Inhumans, Adam Warlock, Silver Surfer, the Black Panther, and many, many villains. You have Doctor Doom, Mole Man, the Scrolls, Galactus, Annihilus, Blast Star, the Puppet Master, Diablo, Psycho Man, and Molecule Man. I so many of them that went on to other comics also. In my opinion, Marvel Comics wouldn't exist without the Fantastic Four as we know it. And that's what's up with Fantastic Four. Thank you much. Mm -hmm.